What's up everybody, Barnaby here, LAF. Let's talk about LEDs. This is my third time trying to make this video, so let's see if we can do this. Um, I get a lot of questions, and sorry, my YouTube sucks. My video quality is terrible. Maybe one of these days I'll work on it. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about people wanting to integrate uh, this Chase or addressable LED into their trunk, into their amp, into their, you know, into their build to go along with the fuse block. Uh, the fuse block uses Chase addressable LEDs. I don't sell these LEDs in here. They're made specially for this application. Uh, but what you can get on Amazon is the WS2812B strip. And I'll put a, uh, put that down in the description of the video. Again, that's WS2812B. These are five volt LEDs. They're not 12 volt LEDs. So what you get with the fuse block is a uh, converter, a 12 volt to five volt converter. It's a three amp convert, <clears throat> excuse me, converter. If you're gonna be running like 16 foot strings of these LEDs, you're probably gonna wanna get on there and find either a five amp or a 10 amp. This one's three amp here, uh, uh, converter. So, Five volt LEDs, these are one pixel per segment. Uh, that's some of the you know, terms that we're gonna use here. If you want a similar strip to run off of a separate controller that's gonna look about the same, um, you can get the WS2811, which is a 12 volt strip. You don't have to use the converter. These are three pixels per segment. Um, but you're not going to be able to run these off the same controller. You can run it off the same type of controller. It just needs to be on 12 volts and it's going to be separate. You have to get into the app and make the programs match. It's going to be kind of a hassle. So that's why I'm going to hook you guys up with information on the WS2812B strip, 5 volts. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> the controller that I send with the strip you don't have to do any of this it's just a remote control basic controller um, but if you want to integrate you're going to need this controller here which is the sp107e type that in on amazon you can find them all over the place and that's that sp107e i don't sell these typically i can um, but you can just get them on Amazon. You're gonna get them cheaper and faster than what I can sell them for, so. Let's talk about what happens when you get into the app for this controller. You're gonna get the controller up here in the corner. You're gonna get all this information down here. What you're gonna to wanna to select is the SK6812. That's gonna be the closest program. You can see 2811 up here if you're running that strip over there you're gonna choose the 2811 up here. But for this, these uh, WS2812Bs, uh, you're gonna run 6812, SK6812. You're gonna run green, red, blue. If you choose a different one of those, your colors are just gonna, not gonna match. You're gonna choose red and it's gonna be green. Um, still works, but you know, you want green, red, blue, SK6812, and segments and pixels. So I've got this set at one and 58. It's a little backwards because of the, this is, you know, Chinese made controllers, so their language is a little backwards. It should be uh, one pixel and there's 58 segments, but it's not. So we put one in the segment and we put 58 in the pixel, in the segment pixel section. So let me illustrate that. Right now, the fuse block is completely red. If I change this to 30, what you're gonna see is half the block turn off. So now it's only running 30 pixels. So if I increase that by two, focus two, you're gonna see two lights turn on. So that's how that works. You may need to guess, put in some numbers, see how many turn on and adjust that. Um, so let's put that back up to 58. Okay. And now what we wanna do is we wanna integrate some of these lights. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can run them in parallel 
or you can run them in series. And I'll show you what happens if you run them in parallel. Let's start with a short strip. So this is 13, is it? No, it's uh, 11. This is 11 pixels. So if I plug this in, it's gonna show up. It's gonna be red because we're set at 58. But if we go into the program and we choose uh, a pattern, right? Those patterns aren't quite matching up. They're the same pattern, but the length of the pattern is not the same. And I'm gonna, yeah, 136. So that's the way it's gonna be in parallel. Now, if you run a longer strip, so let's say we plug in this strip here, which is a little bit longer. <clears throat> okay, now the fuse block and the longer strip they're similar, but they're still a little bit tiny off. So if you match the strip length, ugh, strip length, you can run them in parallel and it's fine. Um, you can run a short strip in parallel and it's fine. It just depends on what your preference is. So let's hook them up in series and see what happens. So these have a data strip and a direction to them. And you can see if I can get this to focus. Nope. Okay, you can see this directional arrow. So the data strip, the green, has to go in that direction and out that direction. So let's connect this. Here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the longer strip to the end of that. And then we're gonna connect a longer strip into the fuse block. Just to simulate, you've got LEDs running all around your trunk, you're going to your amp, you're going to your box. Okay, so what's happening is it's a little weird. It's not even going through the fuse block, right? It's because we have to go in and we have to adjust the pixel segment length to match the new strip that we did. So I already did the math. I know we're at 103. So we're gonna back out, <clears throat> go into pixel segments, change that to 103, enter. And now what you've got is a pattern that goes out the fuse block, down the long strip, down the short strip and repeats. So that's how you hook these up to get your pattern to flow all around your build. Now, a 15 foot, 16 foot is the longest length um, that you can really run off this controller, but you're gonna run into an issue, which I think it's about 300 pixel segments. And it's gonna tell you, I can't do that. I can't go above 150. So what you need to do is you need to do that as 150 and then make that segment two. And that will, what it does is it runs two bulbs side by side instead of one bulb at a time. And your pattern's a little bit wider, but that way you'll get it 300 pixels. You'll get it all the way down the whole entire uh, string of LEDs. So, cool, uh, nine minutes, that's not too bad. Um, WS2812B is the strip, it is a five volt LED. You cannot hook 12 volts up to these. They'll fry the LEDs instantly. If you hook up my fuse block without the included transformer, fuse block's done. And uh, I'll know, um, I test these before they go out. I know they're working, um, so they should work fine. Um, as long as you use the transformer that I include. These can fail, so if they fail, I'll replace it. And you know, we'll talk about the fuse block if something happens. But uh, yeah, get yourself one of these if you're gonna be running these 2812B strips. If you're running the 2811s, you don't need them, but they're not gonna work with this. They're gonna 
work similar, but they're not gonna work like this where you can get them all going in one pattern like that. All right, guys, good luck. Have fun. Let me know if you have any questions.